It's mad! What sort of person makes this stuff up? Literally one second in and Hermione already injured herself. Well, okay, that's not fair since this is just picking up right where we left off in episode 9. I swear, I have the worst aim sometimes. Oh man, it practically had its back turned to me that time. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> I can't believe how easy these are to deal with. Oh, cool. Another mini shield. I think that's well deserved. Not because the battle with the blast into the screw was difficult, but just because the rest of the game seems to be frustrating. Such as right now. Why the fuck aren't either of you helping me here? Okay, thank you, finally. It's bad enough when only one of you helps out, but usually it is at least one of you, while the other stands around and does nothing. Usually you don't both just stand around doing nothing. Yeah, there's another vine that I should be able to climb up, but can't for some reason. Looks like that it leads to a particular pathway that continues on from the edge of that tall rock. Yeah, I know, I shouldn't jinx the Bubo tubers, but I still got the dragon statue from behind it anyways. <laughs> it just burst when the rock gently rolled up beside it. Okay, it seems that launching Bubo tubers also doesn't do anything to the vine. And there's nothing else back there either. I just I can't believe that I can't get up that vine for some reason. Oh, that Bubo tuber just grew back, which is interesting. So, I guess if you leave a rock sitting wherever the Bubo tuber used to be, that will prevent it from growing indefinitely. That's a potentially useful mechanic that the game provides us, although I don't know if we'll ever use it, though. I can't resist. Now I want to try it again. It's almost like bowling, except they explode instead of falling on top of each other. How did I miss dropping the rock on top of it, though? I mean, look at this. It's just screaming at me that it's a pathway of sorts. A staircase of some kind. See, let me up there. Can't do anything, though. I'm trying to see if I can prevent all of these from growing back by placing a rock on it, but the rock is round enough that it rolls everywhere, and it's just... It's harder to set down in one spot than I thought it might be. Maybe I'll just give up on the rock experiment. It's not like it would accomplish anything anyways. There was just that one bean dancing around on the ground. I thought they had despawned after several seconds. Where did it come from and how long had it been there? I mean, geez, that shit's probably dirty anyways. Lying on the forest ground or in a corridor of the castle, wherever you find them. Does anyone ever eat these things after picking them up, or is it just, is there a simple spell to make them clean or get rid of dirt and other impurities? Damn it, missed. Fuck you. Alright. Aw oh man, I needed that to get the past the mushrooms, though. The camera didn't even let me see where the rock landed. Okay, let's assume that crushing them with rocks doesn't do anything. I don't know what the fuck Harry and Hermione are doing. I'm going to blame my bad aim on Harry simply because he was standing too close. I'm surprised he didn't get hit in the face, honestly. Move, Hermione! Yeah, you said it, Ron. Overshot it yet again. So annoying to have to do this. Boom! Yes. Finally. And it's a nice wide pathway, too. Hermione is getting hurt by the Bubo Tuber because the computer isn't smart enough to walk around it. She's still back there! This is absurd! I mean, she's fighting with it, I guess. I thought I heard her yell Carpe Retractum several seconds ago, but she still hasn't figured out how to remove it. Okay, here she comes. Took her long enough. 
Oh, ridiculous. Why did she stop again? Just, just picking up rocks? Hurry up and get over here! Okay, thank you. Finally. Now just stay put for a bit until I can clear these mushrooms. Actually, no. Clearly that was bad advice. I meant to say, step away from the booba tubers, but otherwise don't do anything until I tell you to. Yeah, did a pretty good job there. Uh, let's see here. Score! Yes, finally. Another shield. Well, I've got eight of them. Cool. God damn it! Uh, okay, once again, I can't pull back far enough. But I ripped it apart, which is fine. Not like I was aiming at anything anyways. Just wanted to punish it. And for whatever reason, even though I cleared a mushroom field half a minute ago, I went down the wrong side of this fork in the road. But I got a mini shield out of it, so... Yeah. Another batch of shrooms off to the right. At least the camera looks like it will give me a clear shot this time. Finally, something went right for once. The fuck? Look! In the cage! Are you shitting me? I have to deal with this again? I mean, at least it's restrained and not flying all over the place, but still, I would have thought we'd be done with this after the first time. I think there's a block here for me to use as a shield, though. Hey, yeah, this is great. It's actually very effective as a shield. Very nice. So I'll probably want to clear that mushroom field to run at the mini shield, at least. Plus one main shield that would be readily accessible if not for the dragon shooting fire. And there's another main shield that seems out of reach at the moment. At least I could aim this boobo tuber without too much hassle. Oh shit, that fire blast got through. Alright, run. Hurry up before- God damn it, what the fuck? What made that patch of grass just catch on fire? It's not like the dragon shot another fireball there before it reached that area. That's horseshit. To show the grass surrounding the shield as being on fire from the get-go like it is right now. Don't trick me like that. Can't tell if the fireball is exploding on the backside of this block or causing the grass fires to be renewed or not. What, Harry? What, where did you come from? Were you standing between the block and the dragon this whole time? How fucking dumb are you? Speaking of dumb, Hermione's just standing around out in the open. What the fuck is going on? The computer-controlled characters have absolutely no goddamn sense whatsoever. Anything over here? I mean, I'm standing out in the open, but at least I'm... Oh, dragon statue. At least I'm moving. Did that attack miss me? Can I just take a bit of damage and force my way through here? Come on. Yes! Alright. Well, two down, one to go. <sighs> Man, that's... why does the dragon have to be there? I don't know if I'll be able to even reach the shield on top of the cage, though. I might as well take a closer look and at least try. If I can find it again, at least. It's weird, I got a dragon sound effect right after the map loaded. It's almost as if it didn't unload itself from memory, but simply reset my position once I came back and the dragon sound effect played because it was already in the middle of playing back that audio file the instant I touched the shield. I don't know how to prove this, of course, but I swear I've seen, or rather heard, other games do this too when you leave some area, have the menu loaded on top of it, and then come back into the map only to hear a sound effect from a previous event finish playing itself out. I'm pretty sure I've heard that happen other times before, but I can't think of any examples of other games doing that at the moment. And I think the dragon was around the bottom of the map, so I just need to keep walking downwards. And the idea of walking down instead of forwards or south in a 3D environment is weird, but I don't know how else to describe what I'm doing sometimes. And I'm not faulting the game for not having a compass or anything that wouldn't be very useful. But I guess just saying that I'm walking down the map is as good as I can do when guessing out loud the correct path to take to find the dragon again, since I can't remember with as much certainty as I'd like. And though it's not strictly necessary, I might just remove some of these Fubo tubers for the sake of Harry and Hermione not getting stuck trying to walk through them again. 
And speaking of wastes of space, why do they sometimes just cast Wingardium Leviosa and shit and then drop it again? Like, what did that accomplish? Cast Jinx at them and get it over with. I mean, sometimes I think they try to throw the rocks at the enemies and I guess occasionally they'll hit them, but other times they lift up an object and then drop it right back down where it used to be. It doesn't accomplish a goddamn thing. In controlling the distance you're trying to hurl this thing is harder than it looks, too. You'd think you'd just increase or decrease the pressure of your thumb in whatever direction you're pushing the analog stick, which is indeed how it works to an extent, but the target just keeps jumping all over the place across your potential trajectory. See, generally speaking, I can move the target back and forth, but it's virtually impossible to hold the target still over any area. I don't know if that's because the Bubo Tuber is flailing around while you're pulling on it, but it's still annoying. Come on. At least I hit something that time. Oh nice, got a perfectly clear path down the middle. Even something as simple as walking around something that's dangerous to touch is too much to ask of these computer-controlled characters. I mean, just... Fucking useless. Uh, okay, I mean, at least they're kinda useful when battling shit. They'll get around to eventually killing some of it, but. I'm trying not to sneeze. <laughs> uh, I don't even know if I've even flung that far enough. Harry, just step away from it. This isn't rocket science. Okay. Come on. Damn it! Come on! Oh, for fuck's sake! These blobs of pus that the Bubo tubers throw everywhere look like shit stains. And I didn't realize that path was opened already. Okay, fine. Yeah, I think I've forgotten where to go from here. I have no idea what they're doing, though. Oh shit, I smashed it with the rock and then well, completely missed the dug bog. Okay, Doug Boggs taken care of. Let's see, there's something over here. How the fuck did I miss that? Like it just right next to it. I nearly had it. Okay, good. I'm thinking the dragon might be just beyond here. Yeah, I heard something roar. Good, found it. Alright, you two. Remember, stay behind the block for protection. I like how that fireball went through the tree and nothing happened. The tree just doesn't care. It seems like whenever I cast one Guardian Leviosa, I get pushed back a bit. Fuck! That fireball nearly hit me. Well, Hermione got hit. God damn it, the shield is only accessible from one of those vines, too. Well, I'm pretty sure there's no way I can get up there now, but I guess I'll look around for a minute just to be sure. For fuck's sake. Okay, Boo Boo Tubers aren't affected by dragon fire. Oh. Wait, yeah they are. The other fireball must not have hit it directly or something. Yeah, just like that, a fireball hit the ground about a foot from where Hermione was standing and she didn't react in any way whatsoever. But then she got hit directly in the face with a blast just now, so... Yeah. Why does that shield have to be accessible through the vine? Okay, I have no idea why I thought that was a good idea. Come on. Oh, for fuck's sake, guys. Yeah. Well, I was intending to move the block even closer to where we're standing, but it seems to be holding up just fine where it is at the moment. Hermione, are you gonna move? Oh, not towards it, idiot. 
Just to the side. Okay. Alright. I feel like I'm gonna have trouble again with this. Aiming at the... Getting it to go far enough. Fuck, I hate doing this. Boom. There we go. That should be a wide enough path, but it's not! And I don't even know why I'm doing this. Once I get through there, I'll realize I can't get onto the vine yet again, and I'll just have to turn around, leave, and come back later. Am I trying to prove something to myself? I don't know. I can't. Just... God damn it. Again with the annoyance of aiming. I'm sure I asked this once at least already, but didn't they have playtesters? And we already know the game has code built into it to have the camera actually follow the player from behind like you would normally see in a standard third-person point of view, as we witnessed during the third task, so why not use it everywhere? It would surely make aiming so much easier, right? Just let me... What's the point of this other kind of third-person thing? See, that didn't even land where the cursor was indicating I was aiming at. Fucking horseshit. Piece of shit. Camera. Aiming. Target not being accurate. Okay, see? Again, it happened. And maybe the aiming would be just as bad even with a proper third-person point of view? I don't know, but... I just want to be able to see how I'm aiming in roughly the same way that Ron might see how he's aiming. You know? It didn't even grow back yet! How could the Boobotuber have hurt me? Like... This should seriously... I just cannot believe that I can't walk through that pathway right now. Sure, it's narrow, but come the fuck on. Just... I don't know. Hell, if we could jump in this game, then I'm sure I could safely do a running jump over the mushrooms and not have to worry about boobo tubers half the time. Uh, does that dragon ever give up? Like, last ten times didn't work. Okay, yeah, I'm just starting to think it's just the aiming system that's causing me frustration in this particular instance, rather than the in-game camera for once. But it's like I've been conditioned to just blame the camera by default since it seems responsible for over 90% of the rest of the game's fuck-ups. In fact, oh, shit, I actually hit it. And again, the boobo tuber didn't even grow back yet, it shouldn't be able to hurt me. Yep, just as I expected. I spent all that time trying to get here, even though I knew it would end up being a dead end. Uh, uh, I don't even care. Okay, Hermione got hit again. Let's just get out of here. I'm sure I'll probably need to come back here at some point in between Herbology and one of the other two tasks to get more shields anyways. But as I was about to say, before I unexpectedly got through the mushroom field a minute ago, I think I hate the Goblet of Fire's in-game camera even more than the rotating in-game camera when you're doing a test run out of a track in Roller Coaster Factory. That's not to say that the Goblet of Fire is worse than Roller Coaster Factory overall, it's just that the camera as a standalone entity is more frustrating in the former rather than the latter. And Roller Coaster Tycoon is a horrible game. So you have to fuck up pretty bad for me to declare that you do something, even if it's just one thing, worse than the other game does it. And while I've been making this comparison, half the time the trees have once again been blocking my view of whatever I'm doing. Oh good, another mini shield. Alright, I can't just use Accio and expect to get everything for free. And... Uh, where the fuck is Harry? God damn it. Did he get stuck somewhere? Is he up there? I bet he got stuck up there. Oh my god, how do you get stuck that far back and just stand around instead of at least making an attempt to find us again? Seriously? Fuck you! Fuck you! How are you gonna function when it comes to navigating the maze during the third task? Well, actually, I'll be controlling you then, but still, fuck you. You're just standing there! Get the fuck over here! Do I have to, Okay, I'll, I'll get rid of this again. Now, come on! What is wrong with you? Piece of shit! See, now I'm back here, too. Better move, Hermione. Okay, whatever. Now, come on. I, I don't even care if you get hurt at this point. Just help me get this mini-shield. Okay, come on. Oh, no, now, Hermione, did you just go the wrong way? Are you shitting me? Wow, seriously, 
Fuck you, both of you. Now you're just running in place. How are you so stupid? God damn it. Oh, okay, you know, I'm almost at the point where I don't even care anymore. Like, let's just all spray ourselves with pus until we die. Oh good, she finally got through. Now just come on. I'll even go slightly slower this time. Now this is easy. Just lift the rock and move it a bit to the side. Think you two can handle that? Okay, good. So far, so good. Not quite... well, okay, fine. That works. That's that's alright. Oh, I have ten mini shields? I get one main shield for each mini shield I get, right? Cool, I got all the mini shields in the forest. There's other stuff to get, but I don't know if I care. I guess that means I can go ahead and do herbology now, right? I think so. I think I can. I... I'm trying to remember where I actually heard I, I get one main shield for ten mini shields. I think I can. See, now I don't know for sure. Come on. Oh, it, oh fuck. Okay, well, I'm not doing this now. I, I'm done for now. I have an idea for reaching a different shield, but I stumbled across this in the meantime. I have no idea what it is, what it does, or why it's significant at all. So here's my idea. You see how I brought a block back to the starting location of this map? So I'm wondering if I can just put it under this shield that's nearby, climb up onto the block, and simply reach it that way. I hope so. I mean, I wasted a lot of time. If I could have done that this whole time, I don't know. It took a few minutes to get this booger down here, though. Alright, let's do this. Uh, shit, it's not close enough, I think. At least they're being useful for the moment. Uh, that may not be much better, though. Oh shit, I did it! Yes! Okay then, the next episode will be the Herbology class. That saves me from trying to go back into the Prefect's bathroom again. At least for now.